Welcome guys, so this is the point where we add map to our driver's app. So you guys already know that we did the same process when we are setting up our riders app. So the first thing we need to do will be, will be to download and install um, the Nugget package for Google Maps. So we're going to go to our Nugget package manager. So here we are. So I'm going to search for Google Maps, right? So to do that, I'm just going to say Xamarin Google. So this is the one we are looking for. So let's go ahead and download this. Let's install it. Okay, so this package has successfully been installed. So guys, let's go ahead and implement the map in our application, all right? So we are going to set up our map in our home fragment, all right? So to do that, we are going to open our home XML and make some edits there. Okay, now we are here. So the first thing to do will be to change this to a frame layout. Okay, so I'm going to change this to a frame layout. Okay, so I'm going to have to change this to a few parent. And change this to few parents as well. So I'm going to set my background. So we'll have a background to be a white color, all right? So guys, let's remove this, okay? So we're going to define our map fragment, all right? So I'm going to say fragment. I'm going to set some attributes to it. I'm going to have android.id. This will be equal to, I'm going to call this map. And let's go ahead and set the layout height and width. So the height will be match parent. And also the width will be match parent. And lastly, we're going to set the class. I'm going to say class equal to. So you have to watch out and ensure that you type this class appropriately. The class is com.google.android.gms dot maps dot support map fragment okay so this is our map fragment so now let's go ahead and define a new image so this will be the center marker that we have in our app all right we did this in the writers app as well i'm going to say image view and android the id we'll call this center marker For now, we want this to be invisible, okay? Until the point where we go online, that's when we want this marker to show up. So I'm gonna say android.src, so this is the source. I'm gonna have a drawable slash green marker, all right? If you guys remember, we brought this in earlier on, okay? So guys, as you can see, this is now very useful. Because the color is green, we are going to change the tint. Okay, because we want it to be of a dark shade. So I'm going to say Android dot tint to equal to at color slash Uber primary color. All right. So this is all we need to do here for now. Guys, let's go ahead and continue setting up our map. So the next thing we need to do is to give some permissions in our manifest file, right? Because we need access to internet, access to course location and all those kind of stuff so we're gonna go ahead and do all the stuff right now so to do that I'm going to go to my project properties all right so here I'm going to check this access course location I'm going to access find location as well so there are a couple of other ones we need to add as well all right So we need to assess network state. And we need access to internet connection. And access to internet. 
Also, we need access to read and write external storage. Okay, so let's save this. Okay, so we are done here. Now we need to go to our string.xml and define our map key, okay? So we defined our map key earlier on. So we're going to go ahead and make use of this in our manifest XML, all right? So let's go ahead and do this. In our properties, I'm going to load this up. So now I'm going to say metadata android name equal to com dot google dot android dot geo dot api key all right so android value will be equal to at string slash map key and this is all we need to do here all right so now let's go to our home fragment and complete setting up our map So what I want to do is to grab a reference of our map fragment and initialize it, okay? So what I'm going to say is support map fragment. So let's bring in this namespace. So I'm going to call this map fragment. This will be equal to support map fragment. I'm going to say child fragment manager dot find fragment by ID resource dot id dot map okay so we are going to go ahead and say map fragment dot get map async this so for us to be able to say this we need to implement i on map ready callback all right so let's go ahead and do that so i'm going to implement i on map ready callback Okay, so this is where our map will be set up. So now we need to create a new instance of Google Map. So I'm going to go to the top of our fragment. I'm going to say Google Map. I'm going to call this main map. Guys, I need to make this public because I want us to be able to access our main map from anywhere outside home fragment, okay? So once we have this, we can now say main map is equal to Google map, all right? So this will go ahead and set up our map for us. So guys, the next thing we need to do will be to go to our main activity and check for special permissions. This is very important because we need to request for runtime permission to have access to find location and coast location, all right? So let's go ahead and do that. So to request for runtime permission, let's do the first thing, okay, which is to create an array of the permissions we want to request. So I'm going to go to the top of this class. So I'm going to say constant int request ID is equal to zero. So the next will be read only string read only string array rather manifest so let's bring in this namespace so I'm going to say manifest dot permission dot access course location I'm going to say manifest dot permission dot access find location all right so this is all we need to do at this moment so now to finish up with this i'm going to create a new method i'm going to call this method check special permission and this method is going to return a boolean value all right so to do that i'm going to say bool permission granted 
is your echo to false. I'm going to say if activity compact okay so I'm gonna say if activity compact or check self permission this so I'm going to say manifest dot permission dot access find location is not equal to okay this is already typed out for us dot granted so we're actually checking if the permission is not granted so we're actually going to do this for our course location as well dot permission dot access course location Okay, I must confess this is some large chunk of code, but guys just ensure that you copy this appropriately or you type this out appropriately, okay? So if these permissions has not been granted, I'm going to request permission. Request permissions. So we need to pass our permission group as a parameter and our request code, which is request ID, bam. So this we go ahead and request for permission from our driver, all right? So let's go ahead and do this. Else, permission granted will be equal to true. Then we'll go ahead and return permission granted, all right? So let's go ahead and call this method in our onCreate method, okay? So after we connect our views, we call check special permission okay so guys this is basically all we need to do but let's go ahead and cross check and ensure that everything is just the way it should be all right so let's go ahead and run our app to ensure that everything is in order Okay, so our, our app is up and running. So we're going to allow this. Okay, so <laughs> our map is well set up. As you can see, it's coming up. Boom, boom. So guys, now we have our Google map. So this is the Google map that we wanted to implement. As you can see, it is just well implemented, all right? So we've achieved our aim in this class. I want to encourage you to keep going. If you've come this far, don't relent, okay? Just stick around, let's keep building, all right? So guys, let's see you in the next class.